Welcome to Stonk Insights, stock, crypto, analysis, discovery, let's go. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you an update to my helium mining journey with the SenseCap M1s. I have three of them and I haven't did the update in a few months and I had people ask in the comments for me to update. So I'm going to be giving that to you right off the bat. But we're also going to be going through the SenseCap dashboard and then showing you the TurboSync and the reset blocks function. Now there has been some updates to the dashboard. So we're going to be going through that to show you how to get to the specific page so that you can either TurboSync or reset blocks or do other functionality to help your SenseCap M1. If you're new here, I talk about stock, I talk about crypto. So if you're interested in any of those topics, hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you like this video. I don't know anything about that YouTube algorithm, but if you like this video, you will be helping out the channel. And I do appreciate it. So let's get right into the video. We're starting here with the first sense cap that I put up over six months ago. Uh, you see here, you know, last 30 days earnings. Earnings have been down across the board for me at least for the last couple months i think that is to be expected there's almost 600k hotspots out there they keep on opening to other regions and whatnot so with that happening obviously there's going to be a big push to get sense caps in when that happens the reward scaling goes down for everyone else that's been on a blockchain mining helium so i knew that was going to happen at some point in some time so you can see here, you know, the last 30 days we're at 6.71. I averaged about 0.2 to 0.3 helium per day, you no know, per sense cap that I have. So this is the harsh shadow Puma. So this is the first one that I put up. This is the second sense cap that I put up here, the innocent metal meerkat. This is the best one I've had so far. The reward scaling has went down on this as well by about four H and T per 30 days i was getting about 12 with this one you can see that the actual scale is at 0.71 and not at the full one that's because in this area there's been a lot of people that just been putting up hot spots in the same locations you see we've got four here we have three here i think this is what's particularly hurting me and the reason why this war scale is not at one but at a 0.71 and finally we have my third sense cap here we have the kind chili chipmunk see a 6.1 HT in the last 30 days now this one was doing pretty good but if you remember this one was in this hex up here it's no longer in this hex right here so that the host for that hex i mean they, they still let me keep the sense cap there the issue was that their internet kept going out i had to keep on going over there i had to keep on doing turbo sync and reset block so that's what we're going to be going over as well because i have extensive experience using the turbo sync and reset blocks because of this location i was just having too many issues and i had found another person that was very very close to where my parents live they accepted for me to put their sense cap there this kind chili chipmunk and there it is now you see here i'm at a 0.71 reward scaling for this sense cap as well because it's connected or it's touching this hex here that has four hot spots in it so i'm not sure why they're not spreading it out so yeah that's the helium journey so far no no huge deal so this sense cap here the kind chili chipmunk this is the one that had the h antenna on the newest antenna the 150 dollars antenna it's been doing all right you know I, I i get you know witnesses all the way up here and you can see this whole area has been expanding if you look at any of my earlier videos where i show this area i'll be, leave a link somewhere around here so you can actually look at that playlist so you can see my whole helium mining journey but as you seen in my earlier videos there's probably like two or three hot spots in this area and you can see it's really built up now all right so here we are at the sense cap hotspot dashboard now they had, had a security issue a few months back so they did update the dashboard so this video is needed to show you know the updated way of getting to the turbo sync and the reset blocks so first off you got to enter your email address and enter your password once you have this set up on a dashboard one thing i want to mention right off the back i don't think i mentioned it in my first video for the email it is case sensitive so that's usually not the case when you're entering in emails but for this dashboard here it is case sensitive and i had been running into issues for a long time because i was using a non-case sensitive email but it was case sensitive you know when you're setting up things on your phone you hit a letter when it's the first letter it may capitalize it 
that's exactly what happened so the first letter of my email was capitalized and i didn't i couldn't understand why couldn't i enter my dashboard so just keep that in mind it is case sensitive when you are trying to re-enter into your dashboard okay so we're signed in um as you can see here show my rewards only 83 total and eh, you know we're moving on up and that's 83 free i've already roi so i'm happy about that as you can see here we have three online three synced one out of three relay so that's still the kind chili chipmunk it's still just difficult for me to get it out of relay with this host the same deal i just don't have free access to be playing around with their internet so we are going to be trying to work around that okay so we're here probably got some stuff blocked out here but we're going to be using my harsh shadow puma because that's on site here stock insights headquarters okay so most of you have probably seen this information before and you know again i probably got some stuff blocked out but it's showing it you know i'm not relayed i'm fully synced you know everything's good to go so obviously going into the utilities and trying to do things with this i don't have to do anything this is just to show you how to get around these things so we're going to go here to the second column here so the one thing we do need is we need the cpu id so i'm going to copy and click that okay and then it's showing that i have wi-fi and i have land the wi-fi is not working this is just a land address so what i want to do is i want to click on that land so if you have a wi-fi set up you want to click on that if you want to get into the dashboard utilities but because i have a land set up i'm going to click on that so i'm going to click on that and it's going to bring up council for me to input that cpu id that i just had and then it's going to have a space for password now that space for password is not the password that you sign into the dashboard with this password is actually the serial number on the back of your sense gap and that's what this notation is down here note the default password is a serial number of your hotspot so when they did these changes i was initially confused by this i was trying to use my dashboard password and i was running into issues i don't know i don't think this note was down here before but now it is so you enter in a cpu id that you just copied and then you enter in the serial number that was on the back of the hotspot that you're trying to get into very important that you remember that i would suggest probably taking a picture on a polaroid i guess not your phone that you're using all the time but or just you know recording the numbers on the back of your sense cap down on a piece of paper because you do have to use it for multiple things when you're setting up the dashboard you need that information on the back of your sense cap to even set it up okay so we're in i definitely got this stuff at the top blocked out but you can see here sense cap in one local council hard shadow poma they give you some other information then it gives you the ability to change your password so if you want to change your password from the serial number to a different password you have the ability to do it here okay so now we're down here and now you can see there's actually more that's been added from my last video where we did the turbo sync so this first little button up here is for the reboot okay so and this is how to reboot okay so we've already gotten to this point so we don't need to know how to reboot but we need to know why do we need to reboot so sometimes the helium blockchain ledger sometimes gets damaged by unexpected errors in a micro sd card resulting in the blockchain syncing process to halt on a block and fail to sync rebooting the hotspot in the local council may help to resolve the potential errors in the micro sd card and it gives you this important message to only reboot boot when necessary so basically if you're having an issue with the sd card and you're not able to sync completely to the blockchain it'd be recommended for you to use this reboot to resolve any of the potential errors in the micro sd card so that's reboot so now we're going to go over shutdown here so we're not going to go over how to shut down because we know how to get to the utility for the dashboard but what we're going to go over is why you want to shut down so the shutdown feature is suggested to use before unplugging the device in order to prevent the device from being damaged caused by suddenly powering off so if any scenario that you want to unpower your sense cap device instead of just pulling it out from the power socket they suggest that you use the shutdown feature to prevent the device from getting damaged from the just a sudden power it off 
all right so we're going to be going into my two favorite here i'm not going to go over reset blocks reset blocks is my favorite so let's go over turbo sync real quick so again we're not going over how to turbo sync that's my last video covered but basically you're turbo syncing so you can start earning healing rewards faster but i do want to highlight this note here because i get a lot of questions about this if the sync block height of your device is very close to the blockchain less than 200 blocks turbo sync is not necessary for your device it, you could not enable it so you will get an error message when you're trying to turbo sync whenever the block height is very very close to the blockchain height i've ran into that issue sometimes and i wasn't still able to sync in a timely manner so that leads us into the reset blocks so we have the resets block here okay so when you click that we're going to go over what actually happens or why you want to use it so here it is when the block height is stuck does not increase height stays at negative one or one or in a scenario we just talked about you're not able to turbo sync because the block height is so close to the blockchain height the turbo sync functionality won't enable that would be the reason why you want to use the reset blocks it resets the blocks to the latest snapshot but then it continues on that after you do that you can wait 30 minutes and then you can do a turbo sync i found out in my experience sometimes this is not the case i've only had to turbo sync after i reset blocks twice i believe and i don't believe that it was necessary in those scenarios because once you reset the blocks it's resetting it to the, the most recent blessed snapshot so and that's what it describes here this note here let me zoom in on that it says note since cap m1 will start to load the latest blessed snapshot the status in the dashboard may have delay and is it is normal to temporarily see unknown sync status so if you've already done this and you see unknown i know a lot of people see this i know i've seen it before it doesn't necessarily mean that there's an issue you just got to let it some time for it to actually sync with the blockchain and show up in the dashboard and then again if you need to run a turbo sync please wait until the latest blessed snapshot is loaded this is around 30 minutes but again once you wait out this 30 minutes nine times out of ten it will automatically sync and you'll automatically just start earning rewards without having to do the turbo sync that's what i found out in my experience that is the video for you guys okay so we went over how to reboot how to shut down how to reset blocks and how to turbo sync we didn't actually use any of these things because you know i'm already synced to blockchain so i don't have to use it but now you're well equipped to use this dashboard utility whenever you're having issues with your sense cap so you can start earning healing rewards faster thank you guys for watching this video i really do appreciate it like i said subscribe if you're new here like this video if you like this video and i'll catch you in the next one